We are Do the Dream. We're inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. We dream, we hope, and we sing. We believe in unity and we believe in our community. We are living through some challenging times. There are conflicts and much unrest and division. There is suffering and there is pain and sometimes there is lack of compassion and lack of justice. And these difficult times remind me of a speech that was given after Martin Luther King Jr. died. And it was given by Robert Kennedy, given in Indianapolis to a crowd that came out to hear him. And he said to the crowd, in the United States, we do not need division. In the United States, we do not need hatred. In the United States, we do not need violence or lawlessness, but it's love and wisdom and compassion towards those who are suffering, whether they be white or they be black. And these words are so pertinent and relevant today. And if we want to be concerned for those who are suffering, we need to use love and wisdom and compassion. We need to listen to comprehend. We need to walk in one another's shoes. We need to see things from one another's perspective. And then maybe then we could start the process of tearing down the walls that separate us. Some say I am a dreamer, but I am not the only one. Martin Luther King Jr. never stopped dreaming. He dreamt that his four little children would one day be judged by the character and not by the color of their skin. And you know, today, mothers and fathers continue to hope and pray and dream that their children be judged by their character and not by the color of their skin or their place of birth or the religion they practice or their zip code. We, we need to help keep that dream alive. We need to do the dream. Martin Luther King Jr. was inspired by the words and the poetry of Langston Hughes. Words and poems that dealt with dreams and shattered dreams and dreams deferred and unfulfilled dreams. And I would like to share one of those dreams with you today. It's slightly modified version and the name is I Dream a World. I dream a world where no human, no other human will scorn, where love will bless the earth and peace its paths adorn. I dream a dream where all will know sweet freedom's way, where greed no longer saps the soul, nor avarice blights our day. I dream a world where black and white, whatever your race may be, will share the bounties of the earth. And every woman, man, boy, and girl is free. Where wretchedness hangs its head, and joy like a pearl attends the need of all humankind. Of such a world I dream. Of such a world we all dream for our community, for our comunidad.
brothers run together we see what we can be to live as one great big family with the rivers things. First thing he taught us was that all of our fear, we're so afraid of each other, comes from that ancient brain. And when we're stuck in that ancient brain, we look all around and we, and we see strangers everywhere. Where, who are you? Where, where are you from? Where were you born? Then he taught us to move into the new brain. And the new brain is another look, a respect, another look, respect. And so we're moving out of being afraid of each other, and now we're beginning to respect people and feel like, well, we could, we could, we could belong to each other in some way or another. And respect takes us out of our fear. We're not afraid of strangers anymore. And then he took us all the way into the eyes of the heart. And that's a deep thing. That's another deeper, it's like recognition, rethinking everything, the whole world. Recognizing that other people are not strangers and we can respect them, but they're more than that. They're brothers and they're sisters, mothers, daughters. There are all of these things. And as that begins to happen, our world starts to open as our heart opens. And our heart, as our heart opens, our family gets bigger. And as our family gets bigger, we're feeling much better about being here with all these people that we can connect with. And then it keeps going and it, until all the beings you feel comfortable wherever you are on this planet because they're all our relations. And this is Martin Luther King's dream. This is what we sing. This is what we bring. Why not finally do the dream? 